Hey comic book fans and welcome back to the comic fix where I'm today I'm just doing my little vlog for every single Wednesday. Last time I talked about what I am going to be doing my channel and just my like little return to the YouTube community. And so today I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I have been reading this past week and what I've been doing my little channel. Now, I just did my video, my first part of Life Without Jeff Johns in the Green Lantern universe, and it went really well. I really enjoyed that video. I just got all my points down in one take, which was really mind-blowing to me, and all that video editing that I did with my digital comics be able to show the panels and talking to you guys about and showing you guys about what I am feeling with certain books. And that just went well, just perfect. I mean, I just love that video. And so if you haven't checked it out, I should have a link below to that video. And so it was just like, wow, this is a lot of fun. And then I was thinking to myself, I should really get back to reviewing some weekly comics. Now, I remember saying to myself, no, 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 you shouldn't do that, David. Just stick with certain things. But I want to be in the conversation too. I mean, there's certain times where the conversation is just going and it's like, I can't tell my point of view because I haven't read this week's books. I mean, it was waiting. And so there's certain books I'm definitely going to be waiting on for it to drop in price and be like, okay, I'll just pick it up. Like if I'm in bed, just be like, I need to read something and I'll just pick it up. But there'd be about, I would say seven books that I want to just pick up every single week and just do a weekly show of just reviewing this week's comics. And so I will start to be doing that again and continuing on with my look at runs of different artists and um, different writers. Most of these things I'm just trying to keep on, keep up on is the current stuff. And it's so it was so much fun though, as I said, doing the um, Robert Vendetti's first three issues on Green um, Lantern. Those, that video, it was just, it was like I went, I wrote down all my thoughts and I just went for it. <laughs> and I was really proud of myself with how well it went. And then with me getting back into the whole reviewing and just doing videos, which is, I don't even understand why I quit in the first place. I mean, it's just so much fun. I started getting back into watching brand new channels and getting to back into the community. And it just feels so damn good. I love going and talking to some people on the uh, YCC, the YouTube comic community on Facebook, and just seeing everybody and just talking. It's just, it feels good. I'm so glad that I made the decision to come back. And um, with me coming back and with me getting back into the community, and especially with the YCC, I was able to get around... I would say 15 subscribers this week. And I was like, holy cow. Man, this just makes me want to go and do some more videos. And that's what I'm doing here. I am just liking everything right now. I mean, everything just feels perfect. I love, okay, last night. So I was in bed and midnight pops up. And I was like, I'll just go to Comicology, kind of just read a couple things or whatnot. I really love just being in bed and just being like, oh, I'm going to read this. Click. Okay, just took $1.99 out of your bank account. Okay, I'll just enjoy this book and then go to bed. Oh, so nice. But anyways, so I was in there and it says, oh, the new comics for DC Comics are out. As you guys should know, I'm a huge DC Comics fan. Don't tell anybody, but I'm huge into DC. I, I'm not to the point where I'm a fanboy because when you hear the word fanboy, I think of just an immature person who cannot think about reading anything else except for that set company. The reason why I love DC Comics is because I understand that world. I mean, when I just started reading comics, it was Superman. And then I started reading Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. And everything just, I just, everything in that world just clicks. Now, I go and read a Marvel book, and the thing that I really like is knowing what I am reading, knowing the um, continuity. And with Marvel, it's harder to do, but with um, the Marvel Unlimited, um, I'm able to start to read all these different um, books from, I think they got like every single book that's came out since 2003, 
to present on um, on their Marvel Unlimited. And so now I'm able just to go back and read, and it's just like, wow, this is good. I mean, I will always be a DC guy, but Marvel, they got some good stuff, and Image has some good stuff, and I'm just like, wow, this is a great time to be a comic book fan, because there's so much quality. There is quantity, with quantity, you're gonna have some shitty ass books, which we all know that there are a lot of them in there, especially in the big two. And I'm just enjoying the whole entire ride. I'm loving that I went all digital. And I will be picking up some like runs or some um, volumes of books that I really do enjoy. Like I'm definitely going to pick up every single volume of... Um, Jeff Lemire's um, Green or er, Green um, Arrow run. I mean, Jeff Lemire and Andre Sorrentine is awesome on Green Arrow. If you have not read the book, go and read it. From issue uh, Jeff Lemire's run started on issue seventeen to present, and trust me, people, you have not read anything like this before. I mean, he just reworked Green um, Arrow into something that you kind of see on the television show but something brand new, which I just really love. And I loved how when he went onto the book, he, Jeff Lemire said, I am not, a, I was never a fan of Oliver Queen, Oliver Queen and Green Arrow. Never a fan. But I always had this story in mind. And DC came to me and he's like, can I tell this story with this character? And they're like, yeah, yeah go right ahead. And so you definitely see that Jeff Lemire has his hands wrapped around this title and he's, hopefully the editors don't go in, just butcher the book. But at this point, you definitely tell that Jeff Lemire hasn't planned for his title and for his run on Green Arrow and you definitely see that he has a plan in place. Hopefully, I just hope, because there's one thing we all know about the big two is editors and the higher ups. They go and if they need to have something in their agenda or have this book tie in with something, they'll do it. And I'm hoping that, you know, Dan DiDio and all of his team could be like, let's just leave Jeff Lemire alone and let him do his perfect work that he is doing. Now, I wonder what DC Comics and Marvel Comics would look like if they let these writers that they're spending so much money on do the stories that they want to do with these characters. It would be such an interesting look to just like to do like a year of, okay, guys, do what you want, be as artistic as you want, and let's see how we can. Maybe that's the way they should have revamped the new 52 and just said, all right, writers, do what you want and go. I mean, it would have been so awesome. Maybe it's just maybe they could do, because they have been having these digital first comics. Maybe have these writers say, you do whatever you want with these characters. Do them out here and just have like a, a field where you do whatever you want. That would just be so awesome to see what these different writers would do and they didn't have editorial just going and shoving down their agendas down these artists' throat. Ah, man. I like these, just these little vlogs that I do. And so, I'm after this, I'm going to be doing my reviews that I, of the comics that I got this week. And then next week, I should have part two of Life Without um, Jeff Johns with the um, with my review or my look, my in-depth look at um, Green Lantern Corps, Life Without Jeff Johns. So I will see you guys next time on The Comic Fix.